hello guys welcome to the channel i already have covered this fabulous model mistral in nemo from mistral which was released a couple of days ago and you can find the video about it the full installation how to use it its architecture and everything else on my channel just search with mistral nemo and you should be able to find it it is one of the best small model out there by mistral and it is a state-of-the-art 12 billion model with 128k context length built in collaboration with nvidia and released under apache 2 license i also have shared the code as how to get it installed and then how you can use it on your own local system for the purpose of this video i am going to create a traditional retro space shooter game with the help of mistral nemo these space shooter retro games are quite popular due to their nostalgic charm simplicity and addictive gameplay i know that github and various other repos are littered or riddled with these space shooter games that is why in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to use a comprehensive prompt with customizations to these space shooter games and then see if this model is able to generate an end-to-end -end space shooter game for us and by the way the games origins date back to the early days of computing when developers created simple text-based games to showcase their programming skills one such game space invader was released in 1978 and became a massive massive instant hit and then we saw a plethora of games and that trend is still going on okay so that said and done and you know know what mr limo is then let me first give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so i'm just going to uh, first run this model again already it is installed and then i will give it a prompt and i will also walk you through the prompt to create a game then we will ask the model to give us the code we will then use that code in vs code i will also show you the code and then we will run we will run that code on the local system and play the game so let's see how it goes if the model is able to generate it and then we will see it so you can see that i'm already logged in there this is my ubuntu vm and i am using one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me clear the screen as part of my previous installation i already created a virtual environment nemo okay sorry not activate it is deactivate so i'm just going to activate that one let me clear the screen and already i have downloaded the model just to save the time and all that stuff now let me launch my jupyter notebook and then i will show you the code jupyter notebook is launching in the browser let's wait for it to get loaded and the notebook is loaded here all the libraries i already installed as part of that video so let me import those libraries model is already on my local system in this directory so i'm just going to run it and you can ignore this warning model path is set to local directory and now let me put the code here which is going to ask the model to generate the code for us a full python program for the space shooter game i already have put in this whole code in my blog and you can check that in my other video which i just showed you the link you can copy paste the whole code the thing of interest in this video is this prompt instead of just asking it to create a space shooter game that's it i have just done various customization that this should be a customizable space shooter game the game should have following features like a player ship that can be customized with a choice of three colors and then three types of enemies two power-ups five levels boss flight and then some other customizer options um, and then some gameplay logic so let me run it and then wait for it to get it generated the whole code so the code is running let's wait for it to print something model is already loaded so it is just going to print something here there you go okay so i didn't put the whole token there so let me increase it maybe i'll just say five thousand to put the whole game here let's run it again and let's wait for it and there you go so the model has not only generated the code 
but also has given the whole structure of the script so this is the whole script so let me copy paste it instead of showing you here i'm just going to paste it in the vs code and then we will review it there so as you can see that i have pasted it in my vs code and i'm calling it space.py and it is doing all the python stuff where it is initializing the game running it giving some of the stuff and then lot of so i'm not going to go into the code in this one i'm just going to save it and then run it from my terminal with python so let me quickly save it and run it from my terminal okay so you can see that i am in my terminal now and the script was called as spacey so let me run it and it is running so i'm using my keyboard and space bar to shoot i'm so bad at this game you see and it is running wow you see from the keyboard left and right key i'm playing the game and that's it i lost i have few lives here you can increase the lives it's your own local game let me play it again okay so i've lost immediately of course i mean i need to uh you know okay make it more custom i mean as customizable maybe you can reduce the speed because some blocks are coming very very slowly and i'm running it in the vm so you can pardon me and i'm not a gamer so let me play lost this one and then i'll shut up okay this is all good so you see how good this mistral's nemo is that we just created a game and then we just used our keyboard to start playing around with it and not only we were able to customize it we can even uh, make a lo lot of changes i haven't uh, explored more that code but I think with just code prompt a free small model you were able to do a lot of things with it and i have tried out with gpt4 and all that stuff and they're able to um, produce the game but it was at par with this one it wasn't that different experience so i would say a real good model i mean as i'm using it more and more i am um, discovering more features of this models so just imagine this is just a 12 billion parameter model and it's coding accuracy is state of the art in its size category and i would say even it matches the larger models and amazing amazing stuff and to top it off it is free it has apache 2 license which is really amazing of a mistral so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think try it out maybe try to create your own text games and play around with it make sure that your prompt is as good as uh, you want it to be and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching